Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're diving into the game development with Unreal Engine 5, you know it's an incredible powerful tool for bringing your gaming visions to life. But managing your project files and collaborating with a team, that can be tricky. That's where today's tutorial comes in handy. We're going to take a deep dive into how to use GitHub with Unreal Engine 5 and Visual Studio. We'll also tackle the big files challenge using Git Large File Storage, or LFS. By the end of this video, you have a clear notion of version control and handling those hefty game assets, making your development process smoother and more efficient. Whether you are a solo dev or part of a bigger team, these skills are essential in today's game development landscape. If you find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and ring the bell so you won't miss any of our future guides, tips, and insights into game development. Your support means a lot and helps us create more content just like this. And hey, there is more. I'm excited to invite you to subscribe to Woolen.com. Not only will you receive coupons for all the courses I've created, but you will also get a special launch promotion coupon for our newest course, Modeling with Unreal Engine 5. No Maya or Blender needed. It is a game changer for anyone looking to streamline their assets creation process directly within Unreal Engine. Trust me, you don't want to miss out. Joining Woolen.com is super easy. Just follow the links in the description below. It is your gateway to elevating your game development skills without breaking the bank. The first step in this process is to create a blank project. In this case, I select uh, Unreal 5.2 and I'm going to games and I can select blank project. Now, to use the version control with uh, Visual Studio, you need your project to be a C++ project. And I honestly, I always use it, even though I'm not planning to use uh, C++, even though I am not going to use code, but only blueprints, because it's easier for me to handle the version control of the project. So I'm just going to select C++ for this demo. I don't need the starter content or the ray tracing. Let's call this Git project and create. This is the project that we just created. Let me go to this miss here. And you can see in the content browser that you have a section which is called the C++ classes. Even though, as I mentioned a moment ago, even though you're not going to use C++ or code in your project, it is important that you have this. The other thing important to have at this moment is your Git. To find the Git, you can go to github.com. Com. And here you can see different spaces that I have different repositories. Of course, you have to log in, you have to sign up into your GitHub. This is not a thing that I wish to cover today. Uh, you should know how to how to do that maybe in another tutorial. And what I'm going to do, first of all, is to create a repository. So let's say that I want to create my own repository and let's call it Git Project. In fact, let me call it exactly the same way as the Unreal Project. In the description, you can, this is a demo of uh, Git project uh, of Git for Unreal 5. And you can select, of course, if it's going to be a public or a private. I can select at this moment a public, but the rest of the parameters, I'm going to leave them just as they are. I don't want to add another readme uh, and uh, Git ignore. I'm going to, you will see what I'm going to do with a Git ignore. So create repository. And now we have our repository. Here, I'm going to select the HTTPS because this is the repository I'm going to connect with my project. Let's copy the address, go to the project. Let me open it here big. And now on the bottom, you have a section that is called revision control. Click over this one and select connect to revision control. In the provider, you will find different options. At this moment, we are going to select the Git beta version. And here you're going to have some extra information. The first thing is you have to be sure that this is aiming, 
this is addressing the right direction where the Git executable that you downloaded and installed in your computer is. So confirm that you have it. That's the first part. Then the rest for the rest of the elements, you can leave them as they are. Now, the URL of the remote server, this is where we're going to copy the URL that we have here. That's why I copy here and then I move here and paste it. And you can create a message for the initial commit. So you can say something like creating Unreal Engine 5 project. The next part is initialize project with Git. This is going to take just a couple of seconds, well, depending on the computer, and then you are initialized your project with Git. The next part is accept the settings. So wait a moment, connection to revision control was successful, and now you can see here on the bottom right that you have a check mark in green. So that means that now this is connected to version control. In fact, you can see here what are the changes on the revision control. Now, I'm going now to the section of the, uh, of the project in C++ with Visual Studio. So let me move this to one side. And you have two options. Usually when you create the project, it already opens the Visual Studio if you have it already installed, of course. Uh, this is not, I'm not covering the installation of uh, Visual Studio at this moment. I'm assuming that you already have the Visual Studio installed and ready to work with Unreal. Now, let's say that I want to change, I want to explore the changes of the version control. So here in your project, you have a section called Git Changes. You can go and you can explore it here and you have the stages, the stages, and you have as well the changes. And you can amend the previous uh, update that you added to your, uh, to your game, to your project. Let's say that I want to amend this. I want to add these small changes here. And I'm going to call this generating Unreal Engine 5 project. I will select amend and then commit. Now I don't have any other changes. And if you want to see or you want to inspect all the commits, here are all the commits related to your project. Now, beyond that, uh, the usual question will be, if I am using uh, other elements that are not in code, Let's say that I added something else for this project. I'm going to consider it as well, the changes that I'm doing it here on the, um, on the version control, and the answer is yes. But before going into that, let's cover other sections that are important when you are working with the version control in Unreal. Now let's go and inspect the project in the folder, in the original folder. So let's go to the project in Unreal, and you can literally go here and select Show in Explorer. Here it is. And in Explorer, you will see that you have a folder which is called the Git, the .git folder. And this is going to represent that this is under uh, version control. Another important element of this folder is that you have this file called gitignore. Let's double click to open it. This is a default file that is created with Unreal on the revision control, where they presented a group of files that has these names, these particular names that should be ignored under revision control, under Git in this case. So anything that could be, for example, a, a, a file dot SLN Xcode project, this is particular for, uh, for iOS, and all the things that are here, they will be ignored. And the reason why this is, these are ignored is because you can regenerate these files at the moment that you create or recreate your project, your Unreal project. Let's close it here. In the case of Unreal, we need to use Git large file storage. And the reason is because we create files and folders that are really big. And for that, we are going to use another type of file that we have to specify here, which is called Git Attributes. To create a Git Attributes, we go here on this folder, right-click, select Open Git Bash here, and now we are going to create a new file that will be under version control. 
To do it, we screen, we write touch git attributes and enter. Now that you create the file, you can see it here, git attributes. And if you open it, you will see that it's at this moment totally empty. Now, to know the extensions or the files that you should consider for LFS in Git, uh, there are many options on the internet, but I will recommend you to look for uh, this one. So let me go GitHub and it's MossG or MossG3. And this guy, I'm going to present this link on this tutorial. This guy has a section that is called Unreal Engine 5 Git Ignore. So click over it. And here you have a file called Git Attributes. Clicks over it. And now you're going to copy all this information. So you can click here to copy. Go back to the Git Attributes. Paste it. And now you can see all the files that are usually very heavy uh, files that you don't want to to keep under the control, under the virtual control, but you could have it in a repository that any person can check or can download this content, but you don't want to have this under version control. In version control is where you, uh, version control is about the files or things that are going to change constantly in your game. And this is a very important differentiation that you must have into consideration when working with version control under Unreal. Let's go to File, Save. And now I can close this. And now we have under version control, the Git Ignore that we mentioned a moment ago, and also the Git Attributes to control the LFS. Look at this, the type of the files, which is the LFS for your particular project. As we added the Git Attributes using version control, now you can see it here in the Visual Studio. And this is why I love to work with Visual Studio and controlling everything on this platform. So let's say that I'm going to add Git attributes or we can amend, which is taking the last uh, version, the last commit, and just put it over this one. Uh, let's say that I want to add another change. So uh, for this message, I will write something like git attributes was added. And now commit all. Now you can see the two versions of your project. The first one, which is generating UI5 project, creating UI5 project, and git attributes was added. And here we are talking about version control. If you have worked before with that version control, now you know how to do it in this case. If you want to push these changes to the web, and remember that we create a folder, I think let me, yeah, I'm sorry, let me get to the folder, I think it was here. This is the repository that we created. Let's go back. And now let me check my home my repositories with git project and now i am going to push let's wait for a second and after refreshing the corresponding page for my new repository you can see all the files that are uh, under control under version control for uh, the project that we created now let's go back to our project in unreal and here we have the content of our corresponding project. Now let's say that I want to create a new class, a blueprint class. Let's say that it's going to be an actor and I'm going to call it BP main car, for example. So I can open the main car and here it is. I can save it. And as soon as you save it, you can see that here in the content browser, you have a plus, which means that this is a new element that was added for the version control. If you want to add this as a change for your project, then we go back to Visual Studio. And in Visual Studio, you can see here that the main character was already added. Let me create a new change. 
and saying adding a new VP main character and then commit again here you have the new version so this is pretty much how you're going to use version control with Unreal Engine 5 and through the Visual Studio. I honestly recommend you to use Visual Studio for this. I know that there are other solutions for version control in Unreal. My preference is this one, and I hope that you take this recommendation. All right, that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, leave them in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. Until next time, keep creating and happy developing.